Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Windows Terminal, which is a modern and fast productive terminal for command line tools and shells, like Command Prompt, PowerShell and WSL. And I must say, it is very cool. You can have as many tabs as you want along the top for like PowerShell, Command Prompt and stuff. And it may be replacing Command Prompt and PowerShell and stuff within Windows. To start off with, first you need to open up the Windows Store by going down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and opening up the Start menu and then typing in Store. You then need to click on Microsoft Store and you now need to click on Search in the top right hand corner and type in Terminal and press Enter. You now need to click on this icon here which says Windows Terminal. You then need to make sure it says Microsoft and then you can go ahead and press Install. You then need to sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, don't worry, just press the close button and it will begin to install Windows Terminal. Once Windows Terminal has finished installing, you can go ahead and press launch. And there we go, this is what Windows Terminal looks like. And straight away, as you can see, it's opened up PowerShell. On the right hand side of the plus icon for the new tab, you can click on the down arrow and you have lots of different options. I'm going to go ahead and open up Command Prompt. There we go, as you can see, I now have Command Prompt in one tab and I still have PowerShell in the other tab. I can then go ahead and open up another tab for Cloud Shell. And there we go, as you can see, that's now open as well. You can go ahead and open up pretty much as many tabs as you want. As you can see there, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six going. I could then go ahead and open up some more Command Prompt and yeah, that is pretty much it for Windows Terminal. It does make life a lot easier with all the tabs at the top and it does look really nice. Let's just hope Microsoft do bring it into a future update in Windows 10. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.